second guess law problem we're going to work is the one involving the density. Okay, so again, this is a variation on PV equals NRT with N we know is grams over molecular weight. Okay, so if we substitute in, we get PV is equal to grams RT over molecular weight. Okay, so if we go off to the side here, we know that we have a density, which is rho of 1.69 grams per liter. Temperature is 24.0 degrees C, which again, we have to convert that to K, 297.15 K. Our pressure then is 743.4 millimeters of mercury. Now, we can't leave it millimeters of mercury because we're going to go through R, which has the units of liters of uh, atmospheres per mole K, so we've got to convert this. So we know that 760 millimeters of mercury, because a millimeter of mercury is the same as a tor, is one atmosphere. So we end up with 0 0.9781579 atmospheres. Now what we're trying to find in this problem is the molecular weight. So if we go back over here, we're going to look for the molecular weight is equal to grams divided by volume, which we know is density, RT divided by P. Now you can write this any variety of ways. I choose to group it because we know we have our density value, which is 1.69 grams per liter. We have our gas constant, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole K. We have our temperature in K, which is 297.15. And our pressure is in um, atmospheres, which is 0.9781579 atmospheres. I'm going to take a second to cancel my units. Atmospheres are going to cancel. K is going to cancel. Uh, moles is not going to cancel. Grams is not going to cancel. Liters just cancels. So I am now left with units of grams per mole. So when we run the math, we're going to get 42.12937 grams per mole for our molecular weight. Now our units are correct and we're said to report two places after the decimal so it's 40.113 grams per mole is my molecular weight for this problem.